Morning. Is it morning? I don't Are we know. still gonna try and get away with that? <laughs> Evening. It's echoey. It is echoey. It is. It's because there's nothing left in here. No, just a yellow gallardo and leafs. -es. So I've had a boat anchor recovered to me because it looks like it's been underwater. And it hasn't been started in a while. Hasn't done anything in a while. And you can see by the moss growing on the scutel. There is moss here. So first things first, we're gonna put a battery on it, see if the ignition turns on. We'll pull the plugs, we'll spin it over, and then we'll eventually see if she fires. We'll see if she coughs and splatters on what's in it. Let's put battery in it first. Uh, make sure we get power at the dash. We'll put the right battery on it, which I have got, and we'll do that first. We'll see if it powers up. Uh, Nathan's got plugs and he's gonna bring the diagnostics over so we can get to the Delphi and plug that and make sure we've got no fault codes. We'll pull the plugs out because um, we'll change them anyway. Uh, we'll make sure there's oil in it and we'll just spin it over with no plugs in to see, one, if we get oil pressure, two, if she cranks. And let's see if we can make this old girl cough. Stop. Uh, cough. <coughs> yeah. Do they still do that? I don't know. So what do we know about the background of this car? Absolutely nothing. Apart from that in 1914, it set sail on the Carpathia chained to the side of it as a <laughs> yellow anchor. So am I right in thinking this has come from another country? Yeah, I kind of, uh, we it's just got, got, so this got dropped off to have an inspection done on it. Not the usual kind of car for an inspection, is it? No. It's normally when somebody's thinking What I got buying. told and what they wanted were two different things. <laughs> because I wouldn't have booked out two hours in the workshop and they turned up and I was like, yeah, you're gonna have to leave that with us. So, I don't know. We'll get it running and then we'll see what's what, so. Now, is it a limited edition, an SE? I don't, no, an SE was the early one. So, 04, 05 is called SEs. But it, there's a plaque. Is there? Spotted. Look. 220 of 250. Uh, no way. Which is. Yeah, I always thought that SEs were just the earlier ones, but what do I know? I, I'm not sure. No. Right, let's get some tools, change the battery. A little bit grotty in here. A little to bit. Say the least. <laughs> oh. Oh. You got a double decker. Double decker. <sighs> and a Snickers bar. Ah, yes. The pain of my back. Step one is bolt battery in. Yep. Step one complete. Tick, check. Step two is connect battery terminals. Now, everybody goes, oh, earth last, earth this, earth that. Um, it doesn't matter because contrary to common belief, electrons flow negative to positive, not positive to negative. They flow reverse. The reason that everybody tells you to 
uh, take the negative off first and put the negative on last is because if the negative is attached and I do that with my ratchet and touch the frame, you get fizzy, make good feel nice noises. <laughs> I like how you describe that, yeah. Know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that is why. Otherwise, it don't matter a jot. And I know this from experience because I've done it loads. So there you go, you heard it here first. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. We are flashing, whirring. Calculate and root, apparently. Hey. The nav works. Right. Okay. Let's start at the basics and work our way through because that looks like the alarm's going off. It's locked. It's unlocked. That's flat, isn't it? Something's wrong because that pump is running flat out, mate. Immobiliser, safe. You have lots of flashing. We ain't gonna get this started today, mate. Key's not programmed in. Ah. Right, so what would normally happen is the remote fob would unlock the car. And when it unlocks the car, it'll disarm the alarm. If your fob doesn't work, you put the key in the door, you unlock the key, you put the key in the ignition, turn the ignition on, the car recognizes that the key is proper and it switches the alarm off. So right now the alarm's going off and we're not gonna so, be able to turn it off because I don't think we're gonna be able to program this key. Right, so I can unlock and unlock the door. The alarm is currently going off. Yep. It's just not going woo, woo, woo. Thank God for that. So normally you would put the key in the ignition, yep. turn the ignition on, and it would stop the alarm going off. Yeah. But because we get safe on the dash, and it's a zero kilometer, that's the trip, not the thing. So basically now the, the dash doesn't work. Uh, sorry, the immobilizer doesn't work. Yep. There we go. And of course, the struts are knackered. There you go. Trigger's Andy, broom. You've got your Lamborghini uh, engine. Special tool. Tool. Uh, sticky buttons. Found the uh, hey? front number plate. Yeah, yeah, I know. So at least it's got 35 in it, it's got a decent number. <laughs> All right. <sighs> you. Oh, it's from Geneva. Geneva? Lamborghini Geneva. There you go. If you look in a foot world, have that. There is a foot plate. Yep. And you pop the quick releases out. Carpet's been up before. And then you can take that unit out. And then you're after that. You see? You yep. So it's just got the, the cap's got the terminating resistor on it, talk to ECUs. So Nathan's gone to get. Just everything's just not fitted very nice. Yeah, so that's just a fuse cover look. Yep. Very shiny. Hmm. Right, so when the fan yaw has returned. Uh, we'll plug that in and see what it's doing. Okay. Ah, there's a load of fuses there as well, Dav. Oh. What, just dropped? Blown ones. Hmm. Look. 
Okay. That's always a positive sign. <laughs> that explains why they've raped the side of that leather trim, look. Getting the thing in and out. Oh, yeah. You see? Yeah. You know. Right. Well, while we're waiting for that. Let's just get them two side trims out. What do I need? 25. All right, let's pull these trim screws out. You have returned. Yeah. <laughs> ah, the joy I feel in my heart. Yeah. That's what should happen. Fucking people who work on these cars. Honestly. The ribbon that's been in. How come this one says oil, but some of them say oily though? That's Italian, isn't it? This... Some of them say 710 as well. Why? Hey? Why? What? It's a code for it, isn't it? Yeah. Oh. 710's Lamborghini part number for oil. Ah. It's a long part number, isn't it? Yeah. Long. No? Not getting it? No. What does it say on a cap now? 710. Right. Penis. <laughs> Hello, Juden. <laughs> yeah, what's going on? It's TUV approved, that broom. It's fine. Yeah. More reliable and the people at work here, mate. I, mean, I do have feelings too. Hey? I do have feelings. I am still here with an air shot. One. Let's get the other side out then, One and down. then we'll plug in the diagnostics. I can't take that out because somebody has put the ribbon that's been in, and I don't want to pick that fight today. And I've completely lost all hope now that I know it's the key's not coded to the car. Didn't get told that when he got dropped off. No. You know what I'm saying? That would make life easier, so why would you? No, it what it would have done is it would have gone, oh, you need to take it to Lambo because we can't code these. Uh, Nobody can aftermarket code uh, old five litres. Why, you, are they just like deadlocked on the ECU or something? Well, you need Lara. Uh, so you can't do it with like ODIS or aftermarket system. You need Lara. You need oh, online Lara as well. And I've got a funny feeling at the minute, it, even Lambo will say, yeah, it doesn't work. Is that their like version of it, like VCBS or something? That's their factory diag, yeah. yeah. But you go online for it. I'll message Dave in a minute now. But... Right, starting again. Has the alarm stopped? Because the battery's dead. Battery's dead. <laughs> right. So, Davla. Right. Plug the five pin Delphi in. Get your texter box. We're in. Nene didn't use his head walking over because if he was a good lad, he would have switched it on. I asked Matt for the equipment. Matt gave me the equipment. I don't know how the equipment works. I did my bit. You said, please, can you acquire the this? The irony that you're and a I, tool asking for equipment. I, you told me to get equipment. I acquired the equipment and I delivered the equipment. So There we go. That is called shirking your responsibilities. It's called doing a job. It's called slopey shoulders. Did my job. Right. So let's turn this In other on. news. In other news. Rick's in uh, bad mood. I'm going before I get sacked. See you later, everyone. <laughs> Give me a shout if you need anything. Bye. Yeah, goodbye. <laughs> Just whirring away. Takes a long time for Artronic Hydraulics to build up. No faults. No faults. No, it's just saying manifold pressure. Um, but it's prehistoric. Map sensors read in. Cow, just put your um, just put your foot in throttle. Well, just there you go, all the way to the bottom. Cool, cheers, mate. Am I keeping it on there? 
Uh, no, you let go now. So both ECUs are reading. Right, updating time. Right, so we plugged into the engine ECUs and computer says there's no faults. I've come to the OBD socket, which does the rest of the car, and I've gone through it. Uh, so we've got a fault in uh, ABS for ECU data line. We've got steering angle. We've got steering angle power supply, which is red. Uh, in airbag, we've got ECU power supply and passenger airbag disable. In airbag, we've got ECU power supply and passenger disable. There's quite a few airbags. Automatic transmission. Uh, I've got can error and disconnected wire error. An instrument cluster, I've got fuel level sender, panel key, ECU data line, transmission data line, ABS data line, comfort, radio, nav. Nav, I've got everything. Steering, I've got immobilizer control unit. So what we do is we just erase all of those because everything in yellow looks like it's battery voltage related. Right. The E-gear is really not happy. Can you hear the pump constantly running? Yep, yep. So that is a pressure problem because it should be 20 to 30 seconds and it's a lot lower than that. So that's almost like the accumulator's bleeding off. So pumps run in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. That should be closer to 20 or 30 seconds out. Yep. So he's gonna have an e-gear problem when we get it running anyway. Will it go into gear? Nope. E-gear says no, mate. Normally you can engage your gears with the ignition on. Oh, we haven't even got into turning it over yet, Dav. No, I know. Uh, we've erased all the faults and then we'll go back in now and see what it does. Um, I will... Um, and then once we've seen what fault codes come back up, we'll have a look what's going on with the hydraulics on the E-gear, because that's going to be a problem. And then once we've done that, then I'll pull the, I'll pull the plugs out um, so we can spin it over. I don't want it loaded yep. when it's getting all pressure up because we don't know when it was last turned over. And I'll just check that there's some more in it as well. Hydraulic system pressure drops, 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 drops. Get yep. the pump in. Climbs back up. The sensor's reading wrong anyway. Should read zero to 50 bar. What's 50 bar in PSI? 10 times 147, yeah. Something SDO wrongio. Something amiss. Which is then obviously why I can't do anything gearbox because there's no fault codes in it. Yep. I don't want to play anymore. It is that easy, dear boy. Uh, <laughs> Do you know what this video is going to turn into, mate? Go on. Let's just take it outside and clean it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. See, this is the stupid shit Lamborghini do. They go, right, I've made your bracket. There you go. There's your bracket. Right? And that helps you get you do breathe firkin bottle out, right? Yep. And what we'll do is we'll put a little clamp bolt that pinches up the slide rail. And you're like, that, that is genius, mate. That is. <laughs> <laughs> that is a good idea. Yep. And then literally now, I'm like, yeah, 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 the bottle won't come out, mate. It's like, what the fuck? Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, I know. There's rat shit all over the top of the throttle bodies. Ew. Oh, I mean, just come on, like. Callum's going to be a hero and bring some... Um, what is he bringing? ATF. For the gearbox. Yep. To be fair... For that much fluid to be missing, don't be surprised if I pour it in the top and it pisses out the bottom. So, that's what I think. It's the gift that keeps on giving this, this car, isn't it? I'm going to absolutely 
do me in. Right. Let's have a look. I need a 13 and a gun, I think, to get the rail off that side. Shit cars make me miserable. <laughs> oh, there's the new T-shirt. Yeah. Oh, yeah, zip ties. Of course, zip ties. Zip ties are uh, actually sort of acceptable, and that's on racing things. Yeah. Everywhere else, it's an indication that you shit at your job. You gotta fucking zip tie everything to everything else. You should. Not on a supercar. I mean, Not like, on any car. Look at the look at the fucking state of it, man. It's hanging. Look. Right, that's the roof. So what I'm trying to get to here. Oh Jesus! Tab snapped. Is right. Yep. That, for starters. Aerial. Right. So that's the loom. Okay. So what? Obviously, I'm trying to get the coolant bottle. Yep. Out of the way. Or up out of the way, so I can get the bracket out. Yeah, because there's two 13 mils that hold this bracket in. All right, and if I can get them out of the way, I can, um, what I might do is that's the breather hose that can come off there. Cut that one off and cut that one off, which is the two flow returns. And then I can get the, the one bolt there. Oh, your battery's gone flat, mate. You right? Right, we won't say what we were just talking about. Uh, what? Um, League, ah. of Gen League of Gentlemen. <laughs> yes. Mate, absolute classic. Tom's? Mate, it's the fucking towel rhyme. <laughs> Brown for torso, white for feet. Red for mist midriff. Was it legs and feet? And if you can't find it, don't despair. We use the blue for pubic hair. <laughs> it is absolutely wrong how I just said that, but fuck me, that was good, that program. It's the wife. Hello, wife. Love you lots and lots. Bye. bye. Say, say bye for the tube. Oh, all right, bye there. She didn't want to say bye for the tube. Oh, they ain't going to come out, are they? Uh, where's the big screwdriver? I tell you what, let's try and fix one problem, shall we, Dav? Go on. First one. <clears throat> what have you got there? ATF fluid. Right, mate, if I turn the ignition on, do you want to see if that primes? Let's have a look. Oh, oh. sucking it. I lost, I, lost, I lost the ability then, I lost hydraulics, I think. Yeah, just... Where's it leaking from? The feed? Yeah. Oh yeah, that is pissing out. Right, that answers that. That's why that broke. Great, I'm gonna have a puddle in my workshop. It is a puddle in the workshop. <sighs> yeah. Well, that answers that then, doesn't it? The two feed lines are gone.
So what's happening then, when it's sucking the foot, when it's trying to suck the fluid in from the bottle, it's sucking air in as well. Yeah. And that's why the fluid in the top of the bottle is cavitating. Right. What's your phone, mate? Marvellous. Marveloso. Um, did you... So what's the plan of attack? So, wow. Well, we know what the gearbox, we know we can fix the gearbox. Yep. So that's just an oil feed. That's just the oil hose, uh, the oil. So we're just going to pull the plugs and the coils out. Two coils weren't pushed in properly. Yep. I'm going to pull the plugs out. There we go. Bloody hell. Here we go, one. Oh yeah, work on supercars, they said. I'm trying to decorate your living room for your fucking little box. Oh, bloody hell. Bad boy RS6. Right, plug socket. Got a wobbly one as well, but. I think that's only the second accident of the day. What do we do, Welsh? Yeah. Oh, well, isn't that a bloody shim? It's free. No plug. Three. Four. Have you watched The Godfather of Harlem? Uh, no. Uh, that is good. Pumpy Johnson. Which who is played by Forrest Whitaker? Okay, is this on Netflix or something? Uh, what do I watch it on? I think it's like Netflix or Paramount or something. Yeah, yeah, it's good, mate. Yeah, it's about um, yeah, Bumpy Johnson in Harlem around the time of Malcolm X and that. Okay, yeah, yeah. So yeah, it's good. You know the Chicken Man out of um, uh, Breaking Bad. Yes. Gus. Yes. He plays um, uh, Reverend Powell, who was a famous uh, reverend in Harlem in the 60s and 70s. He plays him. And then, um, yeah, Forrest Whitaker, Whitaker's Bumpy Johnson. And then, you know, the dude who swallows his rifle in Full Metal Jacket? Uh, oh, yeah. The guy who kills himself in the toilet. Yeah. He's... Um, he plays a Russia, uh, Russian mobster, <laughs> Italian mobster. Okay. He's br he's really good in it, yeah. Yeah, it's good, mate. Is this quite a new film? Uh, 2021, 22. Okay. It's a TV yeah. series, like three series uh, in. Right, yeah. And the other one is good as well, is um, Tulsa King, Sylvester Stallone. I haven't seen That's that good, either. that is. Yeah. yeah, yeah, he's a lad who comes out of, um, Sly plays a mobster, comes out of jail in New York. And then um, the family send him off to Tulsa because they kind of want him out of the way. And then he turns Tulsa into like a, like starts a crime family in Tulsa. Yeah, oh, yeah that's quite good. All right, the plugs don't look shocking. Well, that's something. F7Gs, 7Gs. They're all matching for starters. They've been in there a while. NGKR PFR 7Gs. So, single tips. Right, stripping the other side is a little bit easier, but a little bit more difficult. <laughs> I don't know how much sense that made, but. You, you know. 
to me it made sense. It's part of the job. Uno mas. Is it Italian? Uh, no, it's what. Um, Uno is Italian. No? Yeah, 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 but it's from. Uh, do you understand the words that come out of my mouth? <laughs> um, oh, it's, what's his name? It's not Chris Rock. It's the other dude. He's in that. He's in it with Jackie Chan. Uh, yes. Um, no, it's not. No, it's not. It's um, oh God. It's Owen Wilson and Jackie Chan. Yeah. And they play cowboys. Right. And they're in the bath, and they're drinking, and yeah. they keep going uno mas, uno mas. Nope. So you got to find that clip now. Right. Okay. Cheers for that. I would really, really like it if you put the. Um, Legal gentleman towel scene in as well, because that is hilarious. <laughs> okay. <laughs> One for tours. Yeah, I've got to find it. Sorry. We're taking a small break here while Rick finds. <laughs> right, you ready? Yep. Six o'clock, and then there's the towels. White for hands, brown for feet, green for torso, thighs, and seat. And in the cupboard beneath the stair, you'll find the red for pubic hair. <laughs> <laughs> They don't make them like that anymore. They certainly don't. All right. So on this side, before you can, uh, you know, take the spark plugs out, you've uh, got to take the frame rail out, you know, just because, well, why not? Because why, why wouldn't you want to take the chassis of your car apart to change the spark plugs? <laughs> Not ten. <laughs> On the subject of onanism. <laughs> yeah, so take your frame out, you know. For shits and gigs. T thirty. It's on the plugins. Right, one. See what I mean? It's harder because you've got to take that out. Yeah. But then it's easier because it's all out. Yeah. Who come a f There's a scooter involved. A scooter involved. Ah, it's Nathaniel. What do you want now? Ah, uh, there we go. That's what I pay wages for. I did that. There was something. I come over for a reason. Yep, sure you did. To piss away more of your day. Yep. Does it work yet? Hey. Does it work yet? Nope. Uh, Need your special touch. You tried fixing it. Hey. You tried fixing it. No. Uh, not really helping you with this No, I can't remember what I come over for. <laughs> Right. I'll get off the back of that one. That's it. <laughs> well, it didn't involve bringing a mug over, did it? No. No. Sweet. Well, do you want me to go get Callum? Eh? Do you want me to go get Callum? Dare you say that to his face. All right. <laughs> right. <sighs> Come on. We need to carry on. I know. Yeah. Should we wave him off? Goodbye. Bye-bye. Right. Bye, driver. Bye. Yeah. Let me just pull these coils out a minute. So we didn't bring tea. Nope. I get tea on to way back. Hey, Dad, is it car on to road? Yeah. <laughs> you, 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 car on to road? You sound like Nige. Hey. That's my impression of uh, Ryan at Dark Side. Reet. Reet. Reet then. Reet then. I haven't heard from him in a while. He hasn't been driving anywhere. You'd have to give him a shout. I know. He's got a pet hate of people that ring him when they're driving. Oh, that's true. Yeah. But well, whenever he rings me, he's always <laughs> driving. You know. Nothing like a set of dual standards from to 
laid back northern lad. <laughs> yeah. I sent like 10 people his way this week because obviously the um, late break videos gone mental. I had like over 300,000 views and I reckon we've had like 50 emails going, oh, uh, ranging from, can you build this for me? Yep. To, uh, I, I had one guy going, can you do the same thing to my Hyundai diesel? <sighs> Literally said that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> and I'm like, uh, no. Um, uh, I had one email off a guy going, can you give me the list of part numbers of everything you've used? Because I'm sure I can go and source it cheaper myself. <laughs> yeah, that was a good one, that. Hey, you can't, you can't knock his... Uh... Yeah. I don't know what the word is. Uh, do you know what, mate? Just... Yeah. Have you had any genuine inquiries yet? Uh, yeah, we have had some, some genuine ones, I think. Yeah. So I've... Just need to find some cars. Yeah. Because there's no point doing it on a muggle one. You've got to do it on an LNK. It's got to be the big daddy one, isn't it? Yeah, sit in it. And it's got to be an estate as well. Or would you do a civilian? Nah, two estates. It's got to be an estate. Isn't it? I think so. Ultimate sleeper, mate. Yeah. 119. It's just got to be a good base spec, I think. Yeah, yeah. So. We need to get that back off. Well, if, if you're going to... I do. I need to borrow it off P, don't know, and we can do a proper review on it. Uh, uh, Let's be honest, mate. Our video is not going to be anywhere near as good as Johnny's. No, of course not. You know what I mean? <laughs> I think if you added up the last year's worth of videos, we had <laughs> 300,000 views, have we? <laughs> yeah, thanks, mate. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I don't know what we're doing wrong. Okay. Right. Last plug. All right. So the plugs aren't a reason that it wouldn't start, but what I want to do is I want to build up oil pressure on the engine uh, without any load on the engine. So obviously compression is load and we don't want that. So I've taken the plugs out. So now you've basically taken off all the load on the engine. Yep. If you try and <sighs> retard it. So safety first and all that. Exactly. Take the 710 cap off. Yeah, remove the 710. Yeah. And has it got any 710? See if it's got any slip and slide paste in it. It has got a bit. So we have got some in the tank. What we're going to do is we're going to spin it over and we're going to see if the oil rises. So what happens is on a dry sump is you've obviously got the tank, you've got a pipe into the crankcase, and then when the engine's running, it empties out the crankcase and pumps it into the top of the tank. So the tank's high, crankcase low. When you switch the car off, naturally it equalizes. So the first few rotations of the engine, the scavenge pump will empty the crankcase and fill the tank. So the tank should come up. So if we fire it over now, five seconds, see if we get any oil pressure up on a dash, and basically it should start coming up the dipstick. That will show me it's emptying the crankcase out. Hello. Hello. Done now. Do you want to come see it? What is done? Uh, My the, bike area. Yeah. Thanks. Do you want to crank that over? Yes. That was good timing, dude. It was. Device. Key should be in it. Huh? Key should be in it. Yes. So literally, what you want to do as well is turn the ignition on, and the gauge closest to you. Yep. Um. See if it moves when you crank in. Go on then, crank a Rooney do. On the brake as well, yeah? Uh, well, yeah, just in case it's got a crank in here. What have you got? Did it move? No. Not at all? No. Right, two seconds. Why is it so far? It emptied the tank, Devla. Oh. Cow, go again. Five seconds. Idea. Anything? No. Right. So it's taken it and it's not spat it back yet. Let's put some oil in it. Anything will do at the minute because we're obviously not going to run it. We just want to see if we can get pressure up. Yep. This isn't at the minute. All we're trying to do is just get oil pressure yep. so it's going to get changed it doesn't matter what it is this is 
2050 stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah. All you're trying to do at the minute is make sure, because they're dry sump, you can't just go and chuck in oil in, chuck in oil in, chuck in oil in, because you cause problems. So you've got to ascertain that there's no oil in it first. So scavenge, it should have started to fill the tank back up. Right, crank it over. Yep. Did the oil pressure move? Yeah, a bit. A bit? Yeah. I wouldn't say it went all the way to four. No, no, it probably won't have cranked in, but as long as it's moving, we got oil pressure, we're good. Oh, there we go, we've picked up some on a dipstick. Oh, there we go. Go on, Ant, do it again. What have you got? All right. If you look now, look, you can see the oil starting to get a bit dirty. You see? Yep. It's just starting to, it's probably going to be over the top now, but there you go, look. You see it's dirty? Yep. So we've got oil starting to come back through now. So the bottom hole's minimum. Sorry, the bottom hole is fill, and then that's minimum, then that's maximum. So. We don't want to go, we know there's oil in it now and it doesn't look horrific, so that'll do for now. What I will do, Cal, if you go that side, huh? go that side for me, move the seat forward. Forward? Yes, dear boy, you'll get out, you'll have to get out, mm -hmm. you know. So, fold the seat forward first, like that, and then roll it forward like this. Okay, so move it back at handle under the front. Yeah. Pump, secondary air pump. There are the big relays on the side. Then we've got the fuses here, right? And then we've got injection six to 10, ignition six to 10, fuel pump one to five, fuel pump six to 10. Drive away, drive away, not use, not use, not use. So my question is, have we got lives on these when we're cranking, which is for the injectors and for the coils. And then if we jump the fuel pumps, Will we get fuel? Mm. Basically, what is we missing, bruv? All right. All right. So, yeah. do you need a light in here? Well, I can just about see you pulling fuses. So we need to go between three and four, four and five. So do I get power? One and two. Three and four. Two, three, one and two. So if we look at those outside two pins, yeah? Yep. Have I got 12 volts at one of those? You can get my voltmeter, please, mate. Can't walk, work in here with this helmet. You need to remove the bubble. There, look, can you see it? The red box. And then is there like some yellow wires with some pins on them? Oh, right, Davla. Got some light now, which is good. Don't prick yourself on that. Hold that, don't prick yourself. Uh, which one did I say? Pass me down that cover, please, Cal. It's got all the diagram on it. Thanks. It's my cheat sheet. Ignition one to five, ignition, injection one to five, ignition one, fuel pumps one to five. So if I jump. Oh, Christ. And in there. And in there. And I want three to five, which is the two big ones. So if I jump them too quick, does my fuel pump run? Listen closely. No, it does not. The ignition on. Ah, oh, no. Might answer that. Oh. oh. Right, 
so question 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 can you just hold that on there please mate um right so i've got 12 volts on that side the relay why did the fuel pump not just run then unless Twelve volts. That's a the relay. Okay, let's try something different then. So we know that's alive, and three is the live, which is the top pin. So it is four the switch or five the switch? Uh, right, go back then. Hold it on. Yes. We don't know the whole time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 12, 12, 12. Right, so we're good on those. What about on a switch side, which is number one, which is the one closest to me? Point two. 12 volts, nothing. All right, so if I jump, uh, let's say fuel pump injection. So I've got nothing in that, nothing in that. So ignition, I'm good, but nothing on fuel. Fuel pump. Um, Trouble with driver ignition injection. Twelve. I get nothing on injection. What about if I jump that one to that one? Oh, hey, one, two, injection one to five. Right, so now I've got. So, what about fuel pump one to five? Is that because the battery's died? No, 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 just turned it on. Off. Right, okay. So jumping at relay gives me power there. What about if I jump this relay? Where's me other lead gone? There. So if I jump my fuel pump relay. Do I get voltage at the fuse? Which is fuel pump three. Right, so that's activated the fuses then. Okay. Which fingers? Am I keeping this on the hatch? I uh, turn it off a minute. Two secs. Right, so what am I on? One to five? Yeah. Crank it over again, Carl. Turn it off. Yeah, so I've got fuel pressure. So obviously I know I'm chasing my ass here because um, we know we've got an immobiliser 
yeah. issue. But I want to see if whether I'm missing fuel or spark, which one it kills. Go on in, go on in Cal. Yeah, just spin over. Right, so I got a spark. You see that? You want to come here? Do you look down on that plug? Go on, M. All right, cool. Yeah, I'll sort them. Right. So my next question is, how do you get fuel pumps to run? And is it just fuel pumps? Or is it injectors? I don't know. Go on in, cow. Nothing. Do you want to make it switch off? I know I've got ignition. I know I've got spark. If I can trick it, because it's not going to be fancy, it's not going to be like a big release like on um, uh, the um, later cars. I don't think this is going to work, but if I can trick it into power in the injectors, I still don't think it's going to work, but then maybe we can get it started. So all I've done is I've jumped the relay for the ignition, for the injection to see if we get um, a strobe. And if, if we don't, it's not gonna work, but right, Cal, spin it over. If it starts on its own. It won't start, mate, there's no plugs in it. No. That's all right. So what I was hoping was that it was a power supply immobilizer, but I think because I know on the later stuff, the ECU just won't cycle injectors, and that's yep. obviously what's going on. It's not gonna cycle injectors. So that isn't going to start, mate, no matter what we do. Um, so has that got to be the key coded for that? that yeah, 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 we've got to get safe off the dash. Um, and the only way to do that, unfortunately, is um, by it going to Lambo. It needs Lara to code a, to code a key in. Um, I don't know. I I certainly haven't got the kit to do it. Let me see if Dave's message. Uh, yes, please, mate. <sighs> yeah, so I'll put the plugs back in. Yeah, like they haven't even coded the, is there even a battery in it? I don't think we would even be able to. Is the battery is on the car though? Well. Hold up. Battery's fine. Three volts. Well, we can try and... I thought it had a little light, but maybe I was wrong. Well, let's see if we can code, let's see if we can fix one thing then. See if we can code the um, uh, fob in. So we can at least... Uh, where's Texa? There it is. Airbag, ABS, spoiler, steering. Is it key? Is it this? So you're gonna try it two different ways. There was the old way and the new way. So we'll try the old way first. You put the key in the ignition, turn the ignition on, press and hold both buttons. 
one, two, three, four, five. I don't think that worked. Because I think I think that's more like a reinitialization a reinitialization after you've changed the battery. Yep. I like to link them back up, but this is a brand new fob we're trying to. So, uh, the vehicle is usually supposed to two remote control keys. If the new keys or remote control keys are required in addition to those already supplied, you have to be code of comfort. Mm -hmm. Unlock the vehicle from the outside by operating the lock of the driver's door. Start the vehicle using a suitable mechanical key. Check the number of keys already coded from diagnosis. No, can't fix shit all today, Dav. <laughs> That's the way it goes sometimes. Yeah, because the process on this says to add new keys. You put the ignition, you put a key on, put the ignition in a dash with the ignition on, shut the door, put it, lock the door, hit the unlock button, and it will store it. That's how you put it into store mode. Yep. I think the stuff that they're saying on the... Four. Five. You hold it for five seconds, you will probably won't hear anything. There's no beep, there's no signal that it took took yeah. effect. You let go. Off. Pull key out of the ignition. And so after you do that, what ends up happening is yeah, it's an it looks like nothing initially. That's an LP process. Okay. That's not a five liter process. So what you're saying is you do uh, 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 turn the ignition on. One, two, three, four, five, out. Nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Board. Can't start it, can't fix it. Right. So we can't start it because it is a brand new key and the key's not programmed and I can't program the key. So I can't start it. I can't turn the immobilizer off because according to that, you need a key that will start the car to have it running so that you can then shut the door and lock it with the new key. So you'd have the old key in the door, in the ignition with it running. Yep. You'd shut the door, you'd put the new key in, put it to lock and you do the process we said. It says at the bottom here, um, what does it say? What does it say? Hang on. Warning, use this procedure only to reprogram keys already used with the vehicle. To code completely blank new keys, you must contact the dealer. Don't. So oh, the dealer, this? sorry, go on. Sorry, mate. the dealer will fix the safe problem and this problem. So that is the next thing. So why has this come with a new key that's not coded to the car? Well, this is, this is the problem, mate, right? Is that I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why. Is um, the key being lost, the original key? Uh, yeah. Am I trying to facilitate? Yeah. I, I, I mean, it's... So it needs to go to it needs to go to Lambo now. That is the next stage. I'm going to take that battery off because that clicking is doing my fucking head in. Yep. So to be fair, you have diagnosed the issue. I've diagnosed what, issues. yeah, two of the issues or three or whatever yep. it is. Them being, I have no idea what happened to it. Well, three of the issues. I know why the e-gear doesn't work. Yep. I know why the car won't start and I know why the immobilizer's going off, the alarm's going off. It's just a shame that we now need 
a dealer to get involved, basically. Yeah. And that sounds like it will be expensive. Yeah, I'll have a chat with the lads at Pangbourne, but I don't know where, what, whether they're going to want this on site. I guess that's the other thing that they may not want. Wow. The last time I sent a car, I sent a Gallardo down to Pangbourne to get coded. This was not, nothing to do with Pangbourne's fault. Um, the online system doesn't work. I've just messaged Dave now, so we'll see if he answers me back. Right. So he's the master tech at Pangbourne, he's men. Um, so we talk quite a bit, because obviously we do engines and stuff for them. Uh, let's see if he has messaged. No, not yet. So, right, we need to arrange getting it down there to code Kiernan. Uh, but yeah, I sent one down there to be coded, and um, their online system wouldn't work. It wouldn't do it. So. Right. If you had an original key, you can clone it. You see all these companies come out and they clone the keys and stuff like that, but... Yeah, this ain't gonna work, right? Okay. I think we'll end. I think we'll end it on that, mate. But that's the realities of things like this. There's, <laughs> yeah, there's not yeah, yeah. A solution is there? And, no. and that's an afternoon's worth of work that has got me nowhere. Yeah. You know, and that is it. That is it. So, if anyone knows how I can code that bloody key in, hit the comments because. Yeah, at this point, I have to rely on the dealer to do it. Um, it's a brand new key. It looks a genuine key as well. It is coded, works all the locks, does everything. It's just not working to a car. So if you know, hit a brother up. <laughs> <laughs> Radio. Right. Sweet. Let's get that kettle on, lad. You'd all be a load of darlings if you'd like and subscribe because Popularity cheers me up. <laughs> right. See you next week. See you later, dude. Laters.